We have just a, a minute left, uh, Mr. High Commissioner, and I want to use that time to ask you about another uh, very prominent uh, refugee uh, crisis now for decades, and that's Afghanistan. It's a year in August since the fall of the government in Kabul, the takeover by the Taliban. I want to ask you whether the, the refugee uh, crisis surrounding Afghanistan, the flow of refugees from Afghanistan, has been uh, less than you might have expected, and how you think the Taliban government is doing in dealing with these issues of, uh, of, of keeping people uh, at home by giving them work, not, not by force. How are they doing? To your first question, I would say yes. It is less than, let's say, we feared at one point. But I think that this is also due to the fact that in the last few months, and particularly through the last winter, humanitarian organizations were able to set up a very substantive response inside Afghanistan. Um, we have to say that with the end of the conflict between the Taliban and the previous government, the security situation in the country has improved. It's never been as relatively stable as this in decades. I, worked myself in Afghanistan uh, 20 years ago in a relatively positive moment, but security was more challenging back then. So paradoxically, we have a, a, a situation of improved security that allows us to distribute food and other resources uh, to help with water, to help with all the fundamentals, all the life-saving issues. Now, your second question is more complex. How have the Taliban done? First of all, I think that one positive thing that happened last August was the decision, in particular by the United Nations and its organizations, to continue to engage with the Taliban. This is not recognition. This is engagement on humanitarian grounds. That has allowed us to have them as an interlocutor. I, and we've seen over the last few months some progress, like I said, in security terms, for example, but also some stagnation and some bad decisions, such as the one made recently not to allow girls in high schools. But by and large, there is dialogue, there is engagement, and this must continue. I know that there's been a lot of focus in the United States on, you know, let's get people out of Afghanistan, save women, save people at risk. And some of it has been done, but I think there should be equal focus on helping people that will stay in Afghanistan. And will stay in Afghanistan, there's no choice at the moment, under a Taliban government. So we must continue to engage, we must continue to talk to them about rights of minorities, about rights of women, and uh, uh, about access uh, to all people in need, and uh, we will continue to do that. It's going to be lengthy. It's going to require a lot of patience, but it's not possible to move slowly in a more positive direction. 